So right now you have your sunset sky finished and oil pastel and your waves are drawn in pencil. I drew mine in marker so you could see it a little bit better before I start painting. But what we're doing for the waves to make them look more realistic is we are making tints and shades of our color. So we're making light colors that are light and dark. So you're using blue and you can use green as well. When you mix white with a color to make it lighter, you're making a tint. When you're mixing black with a color to make it darker, you're making a shade. The more shallow the water is toward the top of the wave, it's gonna be lighter and it gets darker as it gets deeper in each wave. So I am just starting with one color here plus white and black. We're gonna have the tint first. So you are just going to dip the corner of your brush, that's it, into white. You're gonna pull like half of the white out. So see there's like half of, with my brush, I kinda pulled about half of the white and I'm just mixing it with what was on that corner of my brush. So now I have a nice tint of blue. Okay, so I made mine kind of detailed because some of you have these really cool waves, but there's a lot of points to it. I'm gonna show you um, how to paint one of them, but then how you can maybe adjust your wave so it's not quite so difficult. So here I am, I'm just using the flat part of my brush and I'm just painting the top part, just like, this is like, I'm just making a thick line with my brush, painting the top part of the wave. All the way to the end. Sorry, that last part is covered up a little bit. Okay. Now you're going to take some more of that same tint and you're going to fill it in so it makes kind of like a straight line now. Now I have a light blue, a light tint um, of blue halfway up on my wave. Um, now, and this is, I also wanted to do this because like I said, I wanna show you how you can simplify your, simplify your wave and that's what I'm gonna do with this bottom line. Okay, without um, cleaning my brush, I'm going to dip my paint, my paintbrush into my regular color just as it is. And I'm going to paint right on top Well, right where, I'm just kind of covering up the bottom part of that light area. So I have one regular blue line painted, and now I'm going to very lightly, with my brush, go over the space where the two colors meet, where the light blue and the regular blue meet and I'm just painting right over it and that's blending it. If your colors are dry, this won't work. So that's just blending it together. All right, now before I make my shade, because I did my tint of blue, I did my regular blue, now I'm making a shade. I take my paper towel, I wipe my brush. I wanna get most of that white off because when white mixes with black, it makes kind of a gray, so I want to get most of my color off. See, it's kind of dry, so I wiped off most of it. Now I'm going to do the same thing that I did with the blue in the corner into the white. I'm going to dip the corner of my brush that has an er into the black, and then I'm going to pull out some of that dark blue because dark colors are much more stronger than light colors, so you just need a little bit of it. You need much less. And you can see if there's not much of a change, I can get a little bit more black. Dark, this blue is very dark too. So you might want just a little bit more than a corner of it. So it has a nice shade of blue. All right, so here's where I don't wanna use all that detail. I think I just wanna simplify a little bit. So you can just decide to make a wave if you want. 
just a wavy line without all those details. Those really cool details that I saw a lot of you creating, but it wasn't when you understood how you need to paint it. So it might, you might understand how it's gonna be a little bit more difficult. Okay, I painted that one line and now I just fill it in and I'm blending it together. So I'm just painting right over it so it blends together. And then you would wipe your brush again. And this time you would dip so you're going to go every other color. If you start with the blue, then it's gonna be green and then blue. If you start with the green, it's gonna be blue and then green again. So whatever color you start with, it's gonna be on your bottom and you're gonna have a different color in the middle. So in the middle, I have green. So here we go again. Just like before, I wiped my brush, there's a little bit of paint on it, but that's going to be okay because these are all ocean colors. So I dip the corner into green. I'm going to use the rest of that white so we can get two colors of the white that I give you today. If we have enough time, you can do two different colored waves. Okay, that's a pretty good tint of green. I just used a tiny bit of the green on the corner of my brush and you can see there's not the blue isn't really coming off into the green yet so that's good. All right I'm gonna go right underneath that shade of blue right underneath it Okay, you can make your lines a little bit more even if you want. It looks like it's mixing together because your shade of blue is still kind of wet. That's okay. All right, now I dip it into the, oh, I fill it in so it's nice and straight. Dip it into my regular green. I didn't even wipe it yet. And that goes right underneath it. Just get that line painted first all the way across and then come back and lightly paint over where the light tint of green and the regular green mix, just lightly paint over it. And then this is when you wipe off your brush and you make your shade of green corner dipped into the black and then the rest of that green i'm gonna just mix it together here i'll probably have just enough as long as you can tell that it's darker than the regular color that's all you need all right i'm actually just gonna go straight since it looks like mine's drying already, I'm gonna go straight underneath that regular green with my shade of green. So it doesn't dry too, you have to work fast so you can blend the color. So I'm gonna blend it together and then I'm gonna to try to come back and make it look more like a wave. And then I'm almost running out of paint here. I did not mix enough. But that's okay because I can come back, it looks more like a straight line here, but I can also always come back with my tint of blue and make it a little more curvy if I want to. 